Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to a Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. This is episode 47, and we had some issues there at the end of uh, the last episode. Our dear old daddy, dear old papa, fucking got got. Um, and that's no bueno. So we're gonna try and do this without, um, without like fully resetting. So we know. For example, we know that um, we can kill this guy, right, with a bolt sword. Um, we're gonna throw in like we're gonna we're gonna throw Azel in, and we're gonna throw uh, Aaron in, right? Kind of like try to be way more tempting, temptuous, right? See if we can't. Do anything with Aaron to like kill these guys before it? Overlance? Not really. Also, she will probably get gotten die. But we're just uh we're testing out theories. We're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can Valkyria him. I don't think he counts as an ally, unfortunately. Um, Bridget, we gotta move first if we wanna do the talk, which we do. So go ahead and do that talk. Go ahead and speed through this real quick. And that's done. All right. Ooh, ooh. Pull up. I mean, we did get a level, but we'd rather not have our ass beat for that. Meant to use the steel sword. I'll, I'll avoid speeding through everything. We got hit anyways with a 12% chance. This motherfucker. HP and speed. Alright, well that's fair. Those. It's not. It's not fair. I wonder... So, another alternative is... Why well, I say another alternative... Basically, we sent a lot of our, our horses westward, and I did that intentionally, because I was like, oh, well, um, you know, if I, send, if I send mostly cavalry westward, then when they're done in the west, they'll be able to catch back up um, faster in the east, right? Man, I am getting my ass beat. Oh, fuck. The fucking thing.
What I'm trying to avoid, basically, is I'm trying to avoid um, having to restart this damn stage and having to do all of the arena shit again. Um, cause, because we saved at that second turn, we basically already committed our a lot of our have to going westward, right? Um, and I think that would have been the only other way to really, like, do this is have, like, you know, Lex and Noish and, um, you know, maybe, maybe, like, Madeer, um, the options. Obviously, if we had, if we had people like, fucking A, attack me, not the old man. Give me good luck, please. Fuck you, game. Seriously? You don't get the sword, it's not the end of the world? Sure. I mean, I know it's not the end of the world, but it's also... It's... It's simple enough to fix. It just requires restarting the stage, which we're only... We're only two into the stage. The only fucking problem is doing all the damn arena shit again. Like, that is... Um... I'm gonna try... Ah, fuck. We got this scenario again. I'm trying to think of if, if there is a way to do this without the pain that is um, doing the arena again. Start chapter. I don't think there is. Uh, I don't think there is. Uh, unfortunate. Hmm. Is it worth three plus hours of arena nonsense? Here's the thing. I don't think it's worth three plus hours of arena nonsense on camera. It is, however, worth an hour of me doing this off camera and just using turbo the entire time to like speed through things. Because I could do that really easily. Um and just come back next time knowing like knowing more because like take for example we did we did a lot of stuff with like jam key giving over money without really needing to give over money um do gave money but he didn't have to give money lewin gave money but he didn't ha have to give money i don't think actually i think lewin had to give money because lewin aaron had to buy the paragon ban so you know, basically, my, my point is, is, is I could get through, I could get through the arena stuff way faster if I wasn't on camera. I mean, I could do it on camera. I just think it'd be very boring um, and very quiet because it's, it's got no music on camera. So I'm sitting here trying to decide whether or not I want to do that or not. I'm going to, I'm going to do... One more again. I'm gonna try 
one more option, but I think I think the way it it's looking, it looks like they're pretty well programmed to actually target him. So what I was thinking is it's got to be possible. I don't I don't know that it doesn't have to be possible. Uh, but what I was thinking is is if I could if I could like get up the problem is is I just don't think even then how far can he move? He can move 9. So maybe like if I can if I can kill this guy right like so here's here's example I might not be able to move further than that. So if I can kill this guy past the line of enemies, oof. See, I don't know if past the line of the so Byron can move next to him. Yeah, I don't know if past the line of enemies is is possible. See, like I just can't get there. Hmm. Hmm. It's funny too. I do think I do think I moved my maximum movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, this area is kind of like a road, so I get a little bit of movement. Like, I went as far as I could with with uh, Sigurd in one turn. So I do think... I do think you have to have Sylvia in order to do this. So I would have to have Sylvia over here. I would have to move slightly. And then I would have to use Sylvia to move over. So my goal is to try it was try to kill that mage... Um, cause I was thinking if I could kill that mage, then, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I could get right here and kill that mage, then he could move in and talk to me. But <coughs> I'm, I'm legit one fucking thing away. Deifa, deifa. I've got no, there are no tricks. I can't, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> In my turn and see what happens there but I'm 99% sure that yeah it's a it's a gun deal mind a spoiler that might help make up my mind on dealing with this uh sure is the spoiler that i don't get to keep the tear thing not a plot spoiler that <laughs> yeah that's the so i've been thinking about that for a while right uh, yeah so i i assumed that this chapter was the last I don't know, adult chapter? I, I don't know if that's actually how it is. And that I do consider a spoiler, so don't spoil me in, on that, please. But, like, I assume that, that we were going to be flipping to kids on the next chapter and that things would be changing pretty drastically. I wasn't sure whether or not, like, weapon, like special weapons would be handed down or anything like that. I thought that might be a little OP as fuck. Uh, but then again, this game does some fun weird op stuff so who knows um basically whole point i'm trying to make is is uh 
I expected that that might be an option. However, I still really like the idea of having it for this map, right? Like having that whole whole shtick for this map. Um, so, I think... I think I am actually going to call the video here and I'm going to spend some um, some off-camera time grinding out the arena uh, on turbo. That way I just don't have to worry about it that much. And then we will have a... Um, now that we know what we're getting ourselves into, we'll have a better understanding of um, what not to do to screw ourselves over on this particular front. That being said... Um, I'm just going to put a cut in the video right here, and then we're going to be in a spot that uh, is no longer bored. Okay, and team. <laughs> we should now be um, flipped on to the end of the previous video. We are trying again. I'm going to put a save state right here. And then we're going to be focusing on destroying this group of enemies prior to our dear daddy uh, arriving and getting killed. So, um, to kind of aid in that regard, the plan that we are going to do is, is we're going to try to use some of our fastest, uh, hardest hitting individuals. People like Jamkey, uh, Bridget. We're not using Lewin for this because unfortunately he had to uh, give gold to Aaron for us to complete what we were trying to do as far as arenas go. Um, but we're going to use people like Bridget. Bridget's fast enough. Uh, Bridget might not be fast enough, but Bridget, Jamkey... Um, Lex, Sigurd, uh, etc. So, and we're going to use them in conjunction with Sylvia. So, Sylvia is actually, um, she's got six movement. I'm going to say if she departs the castle, she can come right up here. Okay, so if we move Sylvia right here, she can do a dance up these squares so that's gonna be our goal okay we're gonna depart castle put Sigurd up here and we're gonna send in Lex because Lex hits like a truck too who else do we got jam key definitely at the top of the list for this sure who our other person really is. Maybe Azel. Azel Azel's got good movement. Azel can get involved in this. And really the goal that we're doing, that we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to start the fight this turn, right? Um, not, not waiting until next turn. We want to kill multiple people this turn. Um, so we're going to immediately throw Sylvia out here and dance. And see what can come of this situation. Oh, also, I fucked up and accidentally saved very, very deep into my um, arena -ing, And Sylvia has one HP, so we gotta fix that too. But that is relatively easy for us to fix. We'll just have someone to heal her this turn. Um, so, Jamkey can get there and attack that lowest guy. So can Azel. Lex... And Sigurd can get a little closer. Sigurd specifically can get to just the second guy. Lex can get to the mage. That guy actually hits relatively hard. All things considering. So, Azel, we're going to go ahead and run in attack with an L fire or do we want to attack with a bolt sword? Bolt sword seems like a better plan.
You're nice. Very good. Sweet. Um, hmm. I don't think Sigurd will actually kill one of these guys on his own. They've got 15 defense. Sigurd with his silver sword does 39 damage. So we're looking at 24 damage. Right? 24 damage twice is not going to be enough to pop one of these armored knights because all Sigurd has is pursuit. Lex, on the other hand, I say on the other hand, like uh, that's going to change anything. Hey, oh, how's it going? Lex has the Brave Axe, but he can hit twice. 42 minus 15 is... 27. 27 times 2 is also not a one-hit KO. So I think what we'll do is we'll throw in Sigurd. Pop this guy. Well, not full pop, but get to popping. Throw in... Lex, kill with the Brave Axe. Oh, shit. Lex hit 30! HP and strength. You know what? 30 should be like... In, in a game like this... Hey, how's it going, my cat? In a game like this, 30 should be like... Um, like a promotion level, right? Yeah, I got all the prep for this mission done. We we, we actually kind of... Um, I spent like an hour and a half just turboing through things. Um, and kind of... I I went, a, I went a bit more cheesy than I normally do with the RNG. So we actually got a couple of nice things. One of the nice things that we got... Yeah, Operation Save Sigurd's Dad. One of the nice things that we got is we actually got Tylee Tay all the way through the arena. So she is about a level or two stronger than she was previously. So she's significantly closer to 20. Um, funnily enough, Arden made it all the way through the arena thanks to our RNG. So he's also quite close to 20. <laughs> you know? Um, and then everything else equaled out to about normal. Yeah, she does crit like a god. I think Requasis is the only other different thing. She she got a little bit lucky here or there during the arena, so she she didn't make it all the way through. Um, but she is also very, very close to hitting 20. So we might actually hit 20 on a fair number of our units in this fight. Or in this map, which is good, because assuming it's the last map for a lot of people. So uh, we're gonna bring Jam Key over. What's our what's our positioning looking like? Okay, so if we bring Jam Key here, only one guy can attack him, which I'm fine with. So this is turn one, and we've already killed two of the people that we are up against. So that's good. Um, and we're not gonna leave it at that but we are going to slightly deviate from there so one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to depart with alec we're going to come up to do basically what we are, we were doing already um same thing with beowulf because alec and beowulf both need the experience i made a safety save yeah so i have well there's it's difficult Yes, I, I have save stated, and I do not plan to save state until after Byron is successfully saved, basically. So we'll, we'll see how that actually goes. Um, all right, next person, we're going to Requasis up to Tylite, or not Tylite, up to Sylvia and heal her. As Sylvia is injured from my screw up in the arena. Or saving over the arena, basically. 
Got a little bit of experience there. Very good. Um, and we can actually probably just go ahead and finish that off with aiding. Nice! Less nice, but whatever. Okay, we are going to have Arden chill out over here. We're going to have Noish head out as far as he can, because he can get involved in this fight next turn and help. Same thing with Medir. Um, and... Aaron. And then everyone else is kind of just slow enough to not really be able to get super duper involved in this coming battle. Um, which is okay. I think Doom might be fast enough. Yeah, Doom's, Doom's a quick boy. He can get over here. Basically what... what um, Four of these individuals can do is, is they can hop, i.e. they can move forward into a little square and then Sylvia can dance in between them. And then all four of them can use their full movement to go further. Um, so that will probably be a, a land for us. Probably send Ira out to do that. Um, and then the rest of them are basically going to hang out and catch the wave that is the oncoming force. Tylee Tay is going to be a part of that because she wants to gobble up some of these armored knights because they are they should be worth decent experience for her. So should that general. And then Lewin is stuck in the castle. Okay, that's it. Fingers crossed. All right. Watch, watch them just like swarm um, Lex or something like that and kill him in like two shots. I'm, I'm gonna be very, very upset. <laughs> oh, that would be my luck. Is, is I go through all this trouble and it's like. Actually, the strategy that you plan to use is shit. Now you're dead. See, they're immediately going for Lex. I love it. I hate it, but I love it. Yep. He's... <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, they can't all go for him now, at least. That's good. Oh, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Okay, Sigurd. Sigurd's actually, oh, well, no, he's not very strong when it comes to, but he's very dodgy. That's Sigurd's thing. It, I think, I think, honestly, Sigurd dodges way more than he should. He, he should get hit by way more things than he should. I think Sigurd just has, like, an amplified dodge ability. It's weird. It's bullshit, is what it is. Ouch. That's okay. That pulls that guy out of position. That means that that guy is actually even, right? He totally does. Like, like things will have like a 70% chance to hit Sigurd. And he's like, I dodge it anyways. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Right? He's crazy. He's bullshit. He's absolutely bullshit. Oh yeah, that sounds that sounds entirely believable to me. Sigurd is very strong. Him beating the crap out of the whole game solo sounds super believable to me. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we've seen all this before in this same video, so we're gonna we're gonna skip through this. Arvis is super bad, dude. 
stole my wife, wiped her memories, married her, got her pregnant. Oof. This, this guy, man. Real bad. My god, I didn't realize how long this uh, section was. Why you bad? Okay. Um, we are going to save our prog progress. Because we have a save state, safety save. And even if we didn't, I'm honestly like already, this looks way, 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 way more doable than what we had dealt with previously. This, this looks fine, right? Like, this is like, oh, easy peasy, right? I wonder, actually, how much she can do 25 damage with the Miracle Sword. This guy has 15 defense. We could potentially try to get a kill on her. Um, we'll see. Um, Sylvia can move pretty close, so I'm just going to move in with Ira, actually. Just going to move in with Ira. Probably kill this guy. And if not, that's okay. Does. Very good. Does the needful. Hmm. Trying to think if I do not redeem. Oh, we're just gonna we're gonna go for this guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna think I'm gonna mull over what's going on over there. Gonna do it. Hey, Alex, getting closer one step at a time. That's not a bad level for Alec. Okay, okay. I'm fine with that. Man, these ruffians are tanky. Super tanky. Um, Alright, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm going to load in... Uh, do Madeir and Noish right here. And then give them a dance. So that we have plenty of killing power prepped and ready for the rest of these um, bad guys. In fact, we've got so much. I feel like we can just kind of pick and choose who we want to kill with what. The... Ages, I think maybe we go in with a slim sword on them. Yeah, they're going to have very low chances to hit. I feel pretty confident about that. Nice. Finish him. Oh, shit. Did do hit 30? No, that's 25. Never mind. <laughs> that was just, a, just exactly enough to hit zero. All right, season level for him. Good shit. Does this guy have ranged attack? He does not. Um, and he's pretty sketch. Let's toss some brave bow at him. Nice. Very good. I like it. So I think my goal is going to be to not use Sigurd and then go attack this ruffian with Sigurd. 
so that Byron can reach Sigurd on this turn, but also Sigurd's doing stuff, right? I guess technically I could just attack and Kanto in, but regardless. Um, let us... We're gonna, we're gonna hold Aaron until the end. I want to use her... If I don't have to use her, I want her to go after this ruffian down here. But he has a steel axe. She has the wing slayer now, though. I gave her the wing slayer and the iron sword, so she had swords. Um, the iron sword will probably be a better bet for that. But um, I gave her the wing slayer just because I was like, maybe she could just duel um, other falcon knights, because that seems cool. Anyways, I guess let's just kill the general with... Yeah. That kill? That kills. He dead. Oh, he not dead. Oof. Havis! You bitch! Alright, um... Let's give it to Ira. He has a better chance of getting past the Pavis with Astras, so. Cool. We'll bolt sword this guy. Oh, I forgot that guy was very weak. As a waste, I should have bolt sorted the other guy. Let's actually rewind that. That's just a easier situation. We'll bolt bolt sword this guy. Oh, I did not realize they were both basically dead. Whoops, my bad. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. Guess with... Let's kill this guy with jam key. Be fine. Nice. Good, good. Um, any hit will kill this guy, so we'll just use a weak weapon. Optimization. I'm actually gonna move... Uh, ooh, actually... I want to go give money to Tylee Tay on Lex. So I'll go ahead and move quite close. Um, and then we'll come in, attack the ruffian. And looks like we're good. We're not, I'm not going to save until we actually get the sword in hand. Move right here. Um, but we want to now heal Lex, primarily just because we're trying to gain more experience on Requasis. Although healing him is not a bad thing. Um, and she can Canto up. And then with Aideen, we can just head over and... Oh, she's already healed. Never mind. Well, that's okay. Aiden does not have to do anything here. And Aaron is going to head down towards this guy. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, right. We have Lewin now as well. So, Lewin... Where do we actually want to take Lewin? So, 
we need to get to this guy before he goes a uh, destroy him. Um, so we kind of want to press forward. And not sure. I think we're okay over here. Um, obviously, we, we don't have to worry about this ruffian. We've got to worry about all these guys, right? But they're a bunch of steel axe bros and a silver, silver axe guy. So I'm not super worried about them. They're not very scary. Relatively low hit ratios, really low avoid. So they're, they're not that sketch. Um, but I think we're fine over there, especially since we got this kind of like little gap that we can make a, uh, a stand at with do Sigurd. What do we got? Like one, two, three, four. Yeah, we could do that. Noise should be our weak point. Because they're not going to hit Ira. Sigurd will be fine. Dew will be fine. So we just put Noish all the way up in like the top corner and have him be like the, the weak point. Uh, that'd be okay. I mean, again, Noish is not as weak as he once was. So. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be fine there. So we'll send Lewin to the southwest to help with this group. We have a lot of firepower here, down here, but we don't have a lot of tank, basically, I guess. All right. Dearest Daddy! Hey, I did it! Splendid young man you've become. Yeah? No hope left for me now. Langbalt was Prince Kurth's true killer. Why am I not surprised? And Reptor is the one holding his leash. Daddy ain't gonna need that sword anymore. He did. He super did. The broken sword obtained. Alright, so the sword is broken. Meaning we don't get to turn around and just use it on all of these axe knights, unfortunately. <laughs> because that would be super awesome. Right? They make you repair it. But... In my, in, I, I spent a little bit of time researching, seeing if there was a way around me having to redo the arena and everything like that. Um, spoilers, aside from cheating very heavily, there was not. Um, uh, so, in that, uh, in that research, I did find out that, fortunately, if you repair Tierfing in this chapter, right? Obviously, you can use it in this chapter. But also, when you get it later on, it will be repaired. It'll have the amount of uses that you have left on it, so you gotta be careful there. But um, it is, um, it's an incentive there, I think, to basically use it if possible, or repair, get it and repair it if possible, because that means you don't have to repair it at a later date when it might be more difficult, so. Anyways, whatever. Cool, sweet. We've got an army of axe riders bearing down upon us. Um, which is fine, fine, totally fine. Actually, actually quite totally fine. Um, I'm not really worried. We're going to attack this guy to go ahead and get him off the... Because they're not going to attack the village. This is not a concern of theirs 
Um, so we'll go ahead and kill him, get him off the village. 60. 60 HP. Oh, and actually, we don't even have to do noise. Probably us. We could, though. I'm going to put uh, Sigurd right here, though. I'm trying to intentionally bait these guys into attacks. Um, so, I think we want to put uh, Ira here. Maybe do here. Pull Noish out slightly. Wait here. Pull Madir out slightly. Pull Azel out slightly. Put do on up. Heal with Requasis. Again, trying to prioritize Requasis healing over Aideen healing because Requasis is very close to hitting level 20 and Aideen already is. Oh, she's so close. Cool. Uh, in point of fact, I think what we will do is we will dance and then put in Requasis on healing duty for Sigurd as well. Ooh, Sylvia's getting close to level 20. Nice. I feel... So, I do know that this... It, um, again, I've been slightly spoiled on a few things. Not horribly spoiled, but slightly spoiled on a few things. And I assume that this is the last chapter that I get with, with this group of people. So, I'm really, really trying to do that whole, like, um, get everyone to level 20... She gets a really dope promotion. That sounds fucking cool. I'm excited. All right. Um, yeah. Iron Sword versus this man. Actually, if he hits us, it's really going to suck. But hopefully he does not. Also, oof. fortunately, we have Pursuit now. Um, so there's that. Ugh, still gonna take us a while. Um, downside of Eren is she does not hit very hard. We could get a good sword on her, though. Because that's only a might 6 weapon versus, like, you know, silver lance, might 20. If she had, like, a silver sword, for example, I wonder. Could I put... Could I put, like, one of these on her? Like a silver blade? I bet I could. It's A. It's A rank. Maybe a steel blade and silver or silver blade. Because, I mean, I kind of use the silver blade every once in a while on Ira. Might be worth looking into. Anyways. Um, onwards. Here. Alec tries to kill this guy. Gonna take him 300 years to do that. Gotcha. I think Beowulf should kill his... This? No, probably not. My god, y'all are weak. I mean, these ruffians are strong, but y'all are also weak. Okay, so this is a little sketch. Um... Hmm... I think we want to pull back slightly. But not too far back, because we still want to maybe get, like, some counters or something. I don't know. We'll see. Wait. We will recover. Ooh, recover. The only thing he has? Yeah. 
it is. Quad only deals in that big shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, no one can actually make it to us, and that's fine. Um, that means Lex actually gets to be fully involved this next turn, and it'll be a 7 versus 8, so we can try to main priority, right, like try to pop some of the these two Thunder Mages, since they're a little scary with their magic damage. And then the, the Armored Axes are not super scary, especially considering we have uh, Tylite can probably insta-kill one. Luin can probably... Well, Luin can definitely insta-kill one. Tylite actually might not be able to insta-kill one because she doesn't... Um, I want to get her the Pursuit Ban, but in order to... I didn't want to not use Lex, so um, he has not given her money yet, but the Pursuit Ban awaits her in the um, Pawnbroker. So there's that. Uh, okay, I think... I think we are probably pretty good. Go. All right, fingers crossed. Ooh, right in for Ira, I see. That did not work for you, my man. I would not recommend that. In fact, you had a 0% chance to hit her. Why in the world did you go for her? What? <laughs> did you have a plan there? And actually... If they can't hit Ira, I don't think they can hit Do, which means I'm. I think they can only hit Sigurd, and we know how Sigurd is. So I think I think we're fine. I think I think we've done it. By Jove, they've done it, which is very exciting. Oof! Now we just gotta not get beefed here, right? Which is, you know, sometimes easier said to... <laughs> We've reached the point of steamroll. Yay! Hey, I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of peeps over here. Okay, we're going to do um, our... We're going to do our, our easy choices first. Attack all the ruffians, right? Come on. I swear, Alec will do, will kill his one of these days. I think, um, I think Beowulf is definitely good on his this turn. Nice. Oh, -ho! that's exciting because that means, ooh, a strength point. That's very good. Um, I believe that means that... Beowulf is very likely to level off of soloing this brigand. Because these, these brigands are level 30. They're worth a lot of experience. Right? So he's very likely to level off of soloing that, uh, that brigand. Which means he will be 20. And he will be able to promote on his way back home. Very cool. And then let's get this last one down here. Again, she's not going to kill it this turn, but she should. I don't know. Oof. Does none of the damage. My goodness. Okay, so 
Now we are to the point of the more complex choices with the actual battle here in the Northeast and the battle here in the Southwest. So I think this is going to be a good place to go ahead and end this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. And we will see you next time for more Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.